Say hi, say hi. 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 One, 120. No, 150. 120. Yeah, 200. <laughs> no. Hi, this is Andrea Briantes. Together with Ate Elise and Ate Erica, we will show you tips and tricks on how to make your travel adventure unforgettable. This is Meg Travels. Bali, Indonesia is one of the top summer destinations in Asia. This island is a rich mix of ancient and modern culture. Home of beautiful temples, unspoiled jungles, and one of the kindest people you'll ever meet. The island is visually dramatic. From its mountainous chains, agricultural areas, volcanoes, hidden falls and caves, of course, the stunning beaches. It is truly a place of adventure. Hey guys! We na namin lahat ng luggage namin, so we're ready to go sa hotel natin. Tara! <laughs> It has a very relaxing vibe. And my room was so huge, kaya sobra na excited. At bago kami naglibot, here are some tips on how I pack lightly for a weekend adventure. And ito yung table namin at ang aking maleta. Super excited na ako mag-unpack and mag-share ng mga tips para mas maging organized ang pag-pack nyo for traveling. Magsimula tayo dito sa mga damit. I-roll yun na lang para mas nakaka-save ng space. Meron tayo mga pang basic. Tapos lagi ako nababaan ng dress. Kasi isahan lang siya. Next naman is samuha kayo ng maliliit na mga bottles para dun yung ilalagay yung shampoo nyo. Tapos yung toothbrush natin, syempre, kailangan natin mag-toothbrush. Ito yung para sa face ko lang, mga toner. Tapos ito yung ating medkit. Tapos, ito, kailangan natin ng tote bag. Para sa mga used damit natin. Kapag sa airport, suotin mo na yung rubber shoes mo. Para hindi siya bulky sa maleta. At next, ito ang aking makeup kit. Tapos yung mga makeup ko dito, gusto ng gusto ko yung pangkilay ko. 3-in-1 na kasi siya. Mas madali siya kasi lahat andito na. Para sa mas maliit na pouch siya, mas kasya. Siyempre, pag, mag pag magta-travel tayo, gusto natin yung magaan lang, di ba? Yung kaya natin buhatin. So, para hindi hassle ang ating buhay sa pag-iikot sa mundo. Okay guys, so let's get ready for the day. So ngayon, isha-share ko sa inyo yung easy go-to travel makeup look ko. Let's start with blush on. Gagamitin ko ngayon yung cloud tint. Super long lasting siya. Madali lang siyang spread. Tapos buildable lang siya. Dapat konti lang muna. Okay, so yan. Para natural, flush. Kasi umiikot ka sa bawi. Next ko is key light. Sinusuklay ko lang usually kilay ko. Perfect to kapag nagta-travel ka kasi hindi siya hassle kasi una, meron ka ng pang powder. Pangalawa, meron ka ng brow gel. Pangatlo, meron ka ng pencil. So, perfect siya sa mga ayaw madami ang bit-bit. Okay. Susuklay lang natin para intact. Opya. Yeah. So, tapos na tayong gamitin ang ating Perfect Brow Trio. Mag-move on na tayo. Ang eyeliner. Yung brown, meron siyang star na stamp. Ganyan siya. Cute, di ba? Yung itim naman, so, ito yung perfect para sa mga ganyan. So, stamp ko lang. Pak, pak, ganun. Two minutes. Tapos na. Hingang malalim. Okay. Ang next natin is lipstick. Usually, sa gitna lang para gradient lang, para natural lang. Ito na yung ginagamit ko yung face palette ng Life by Caroline. 
Meron na siyang pang blush on, pwede siyang gamitin pang eyeshadow, pwede siyang gamitin pang lipstick. 3 in 1 na siya. Easy lang, blush on, lipstick, and that's it. We're done! Pagkatapos ko, I went down to the lobby right away to meet Ate Elise and Ate Erica to start on our Bali adventure. Ayan na siya! Ate to get around Bali, it's best to book your own private car, but for other budget-friendly options, pwede ka rin naman mag ng scooter or ride the public buses. Here are your options to go around Bali. Nag-book kami ng own private car kasi we plan to go explore Bali the whole day. Our tour was organized by the Bali Bible para sure na we'll have fun. Bali has so many Instagrammable spots. Ito yung list of the best places to have your photo taken to achieve that IG feed goals. Our first destination was the Limpuyang Temple. To get there, kailangan mo mag-ride ng scooter to get to the top. Pero medyo mahirap kasi umakit with the car kasi masikip yung daan. But this ride was one of the most fun things I did kasi mahilig ako sa extreme rides. Kulang na lang ako yung mag-scooter. Oh my gosh! That was crazy! Super fun! And cold! Saya! Ang higo agad na ganun pa ako! When you arrive at the entrance of the temple, you'll be briefed about the rules and proper decorum. Ito or yung yellow ano? Sarong. Kasi kailangan maglagay para sa temple. Meron kasi silang rules. Siyempre kailangan ako. Let's go! Stairs. Nahina ako sa stairs. Okay lang kasi maganda yung view at alam namin na worth it. Ayan, parang, yan na ba? Oh, yan na yun pala. Oh, We see it. Pagdating namin sa loob, na-amaze kami sa structure ng temple and sa maganda nitong scenery. Di ko in-expect na ang daming tao na pagdating namin. At dahil it's the most visited place in Bali, it's best to go there in the morning. Maybe around 6 to 7 a.m. Pero syempre, that didn't stop us in enjoying the place. for that iconic Bali shot sa Limpuyang Temple, and boy, it was worth it. Let's go! Oh, get on. Get on. Nakaka-pressure. Kasi ang daming nakapila. Masaya naman siya. Sana maganda yung photo. Four hours away from Ubud Central is one of the famous waterfall in Bali. So we wanted to dip into the water, but we wanted to try something different. Instead of beaches, we're going to... Tukachipong Waterfall! Yes! Tukachipong Waterfall. We're actually on our way down right now. It's going to be a 15-minute hike down. I'm pretty sure it's going to be worth it, right? Yes. It's going to be worth it. Like, the exhaustion is going to be worth it because it's going to be beautiful. Are you guys ready? Yes. Let's go down. So ready. Yes. ang linis talaga. Nakakatuwa kasi ang galing nila mag-maintain and mag-preserve ng nature. Grabe yung tubig nila dito. Sobrang linis. Sa sanabi, walang basura. Walang plastic ko. kahit konti. Yeah. <laughs> Yung 
waterfall and we were like... to visit Toka Chipung Waterfalls. No regrets. Going on a trip wouldn't be complete without trying their authentic food and buying unique pasalubong and souvenirs. Dewata Agung for lunch and sobrang chill ng place. Yun palang mukhang tourist spot na talaga. Oh my gosh, so nice! When you go to Bali, you should try these iconic dishes. Nabusog talaga kami nun, so after namin mag-lunch, Ate Elise and I decided to shop sa Ubud Market. You wanna keep your memories with you. And what better way to do that than to buy a souvenir to help you remember all the good times you spent in that country. So, ito yung mga sikat sa Bali, yung mga rattan bags nila. Pumunta kami to test our bargaining skills. I had three goals in mind. To buy a Bali bag, a nice jewelry for me, and something for our home. Hi, say hi! Hi! hi. hi. 120. No, 150. 120. Yeah, 200. <laughs> no. 120. At dahil naka-budget, na-test talaga yung bargaining skills namin. 100. 120. 120, please! Please! Challenging shop, pero fulfilling pag nakuha mo for a reasonable price yung something na hinahanap mo. Buy two? Ano tingin mo mas cute yung gold? Can we get two for 100? This is 100 for two. Yes. Yes, okay. Thank you. Bye. Alam niyo ba kung bakit ito yung wallet ko? Para kapag kinuha, oh, no, mine. Buti na lang talaga, most of them mabait and very patient sa mga customers. How much? This one? Thank you, Dawson. Thank you. 55 for 2. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Our adventure came to an end. This is the total cost. culture influenced by Hindu customs made this med travel experience one of a kind. From how they dress, the food they eat, even to the temple's architecture and art. They were taught how to respect their environment and make sure that everyone gets a piece of nature's gifts. And the locals are the best people you can learn from because they love sharing stories and facts about their country. This experience was fulfilling. There's always a story everywhere you look. I guess Bali is not just for the eyes and Instagram feed, but one of the best places to relax, reflect, and retreat. This is Meg Travels. We're going to eat! Bye!
Don't forget to like and subscribe to One Mega TV.